There's more than 40,000 people, actually, who are running the marathon here in Berlin today, which puts kind of a strain on the folks who are trying to vote, because it's really difficult to get around the city. But, of course, this is, as you mentioned, Natalie, also a very, very important election here for this country. And Angela Merkel, as you say, is the front runner. But the big question is, is she going to be as strong politically as she has been in the past? And I have an expert to talk to me uh, about this. It's Janusz Delker from uh, Politico here in Berlin. Um, what do you think? Do you think she's going to be as strong as she was before? Because internationally, Angela Merkel is seen sort of as the anchor of stability in, in a very messy world at this point. Well, I mean, I think that really is the significant question now. Is she going to be as strong after the election or not? Um, she's highly likely to be re-elected for a fourth term in office. She's been in office for 12 years. But the question is, um, who is going to be her coalition partner? In Germany, governments are always based on coalitions. You have to find a partner to reach the number of seats necessary to govern. And this is really going to be the big question this year. And so far she's been governing with the other major big party, the Social Democrats, and what's called a grand coalition. But there are a lot of people here in this country who are not necessarily happy with what they perceive as being a lack of a viable opposition. So do you think that you know, smaller parties like the, if you like the liberals are going to get stronger, do you think that there is a likelihood that there is going to be a coalition between her party and, and the liberal Democrats, for instance? I think there is a likelihood, but this really depends on how well they perform tonight. And, um, you know, if recent polls suggest that they will, you know, fail to reach that hurdle to just be, you know, able to govern together as just the two of them, the liberals, which are, you know, expected to come back into the parliament this year. But I think what's crucial is that is that the number of uh, groups inside the party is going to swell this year. We will have six groups inside the parliament, which is something unprecedented. And among them, you mentioned it is uh, the far right, so-called alternative for Germany, AFD, which is the first time that we have a far right party in the German parliament in more than half a century. Mm. So this is really significant.